All right, welcome everyone to this tutorial. This uh, Lego tutorial on how to build a model of a grand piano. And there are a few things that are slightly inaccurate about it, but I did my best to build it, uh, so it looks realistic and uh, very cool. So let's uh, let's begin. Uh, first off, we are going to start off with the um, with the cover, the lid over the strings which might seem a little bit backward, but that is because it's the easiest part. Uh, so, yeah, so let's start working on that. First off, you're going to take this uh, three block long bar, make sure it's it's the short one, compared to this type right here. This is the regular one you see in most sets, four blocks long, this is only three. So you're going to need one of these little short bars, and also this one by one uh, tile with clip and you're just going to connect those together like that next we're going to take this 4x4 four four, uh, curved tile and let's see this 3x3 three three angle plate and we're just gonna put them together like this you need a 1x1 one one tile place it right there and then let's see this 4x4 four four plate right there this 4x2 plate right here and flip it over on the underside we're going to take this another one of these 3x3 three three tiles and place it right here I believe, or no that's the incorrect spot oh maybe it's not, let's see no that's the right spot, okay yeah, so place it right there. Uh, and then finally, on the top, this 2x2 two two tile, that's going to go right there. And that's the top. And then flip it back over again. There's a few more pieces to add on the bottom. First, we're going to put this piece right here that we put together. Snap that on right there up in the top corner. So that's right up there. Then we have two of these. These two by two or one by two, I'm sorry, one by two tiles with the uh, bars on the end. I'm gonna put one on each end at the bottom. One there and one there, like so. Take a two by four plate, fit it in that space right there, and finally one by three plate. Oh. <laughs> one by three plate, and place it right there to fill in the gap. Alright, so that's what the underside should look like. That's what the top should look like. Okay, so that is our cover plate. And by the way, I know I stress this in my other videos, but just know that you can always build with any color you want to make it look however you want. Brown also looks really good, but I don't happen to have most of the brown pieces for this. Uh, anyway, let's see. Let's build the attachment. You're going to start off with two 2x4 two tiles. Place them one on top of the other like so. And then we need this 1x8 tile. I'm going to place these in the center right here so that this is connecting it. Just like that. Then you need two of these 1x2 tiles with hooks. And those go on this way. The hooks are facing outward toward this projection here. Like that. So they're going to be facing toward this little addition we've put on here. And then finally we have a music stand that attaches on the front here, it's this 1x2 plate with wall and then for the uh, music light we have this nose cone piece and one by one tile with tooth and you can use, uh, sometimes I use the little 1x2 arch tiles and stuff but just whatever, whatever works for you to make a music light and that's gonna go right there, actually also, it actually can go right here, be a little better position. Uh, just wherever you want to put it. So that is the attachment, and we're just going to snap our uh, lid right on here. Just like that. And that is our piano lid. Which, and I also, I, I do realize this is the incorrect side. Usually the grand pianos have, the keys are going to be right here and usually they fold up this way but because of the way that I have designed this model uh, you can't it's uh, 
I didn't find an easy way at least of attaching it on that side, so I decided to do this side because it still looks pretty cool that way. And if you do happen to find a good way to build it correctly, please let me know because I would appreciate that. So that is our lid for the piano. Next we are going to uh, start building the back of the piano. So you're going to start out with this, a 1x8 uh, tile. And on top of it you're going to place a 1x4 tile in the center there. And then you're going to grab two of these 2x2 two two angle plates and put one on each side facing outward like this. Next you're going to take a 1x6 brick, put it on top like that, and on this side a 1x2 brick. It's very important that you get these sides correct. <clears throat> and then on this side of the model we have two of these uh, 1x2 arch bricks, two of these like this, and a 1x2 uh, plate. And so you're going to attach the arch bricks on top of the plate like this. There. And so you get what looks like that, and the tile is here on the bottom. And that is going to go on this side of the of the piece we're working on, and the arches are going to face inward and rest right on top of this 1x6 brick. Next, you are going to need another 1x2 brick. Place that on the same edge as the last one. A 1x3 brick. Put that next to the 1x2 brick there. A 1x1 brick with clip. You can see it's horizontally uh, oriented. And that goes on right next to the 1x3 tile there, or 1x3 brick. And then we're going to grab this one by one tile with uh, with the clip, put it right here on the gap in between the two arch bricks, and finally take a two by two flat tile to cover it. So it looks like this. Excellent. Next row, another one by two brick, right on the edge like that. And then uh, let's see, this part is a little bit interesting. Um, next you have a 1x2 brick with a hole in it, and you have to have a hole in this one. Don't switch it out for a regular brick because that comes into play later. So you have the 1x2 brick with the hole. Then, let's see, um, then I believe we have a 1x2, or 1x1, I'm sorry, a 1x1 brick with clip next to that and a one by one brick with clip on top here yes this is how it works sometimes i forget exactly how i built the models so one by one uh brick with clip on top also see how that is fitted on there like that then you take a one by two plate and put it on top to bridge that gap right there and then you need a 1x1 one one tile with clip, and you place it right in there. So now you have what should look like this. Or you should have what looks like this. <sighs> Let's see. And we'll take another 1x2 brick and place it on the side there as well. Next, we have a, yes, 1x2 tile on top of the brick stack right there. And then we're going to take some of these 1x4 slopes right here, and we're just going to place them on the top of this row. Oh, wait, first. We have to put these on 1x1 brick and 1x2 uh, arch brick. The arch brick is going to go on top of the one by one brick, oh, except that's not correct, is it? Nope. <sighs> Let's see, what did we do wrong? Oh. Oh, nope, that's not it. Oh, okay, wait, I see. I'm sorry about this. 
it's been a while since I've built this model. Actually, for the part on this wall section, you're going to take two one by one tiles and place them here, like that. Then you're going to put this arch brick on top, like that. And then you are going to add this arch piece. So now the back looks like this. You've got the two one by two tiles here. And then you've got the arch piece and then this tile going up uh, on the top like that to finish the shape. And we're going to do the same thing up here in this second row. Take a arch piece, a sloping tile piece, and then now we're going to use the one by one brick. And we're going to hook it up on top of this 2x2 uh, two two wall here. And it's not going to attach to anything, but this 1x1 one one brick will sit on top of this clip. Like that. And this, as you may have guessed by now, is the inside uh, section of the piano. On the underside here, we're going to take two of these 1x1 uh, one one round bricks, stack them together, and snap them into the bottom of this 1x2 uh, brick with a hole. Just right in there. And that creates one of the legs of the piano. And then, this is the fun part because you can do it however you want. We're going to fill in this part with strings. And you can use you know whatever color you want. If you happen to have orange ones, that's great because that's what color they're supposed to be. I just used ones that had kind of metallic mixed colors. So you just there should be a clip in every row and just snap it in there. Usually two uh, of these pegs right here, the uh, four brick length ones right there, and then I used, I happen to have this broken stick right here, so I used it for this cord here, and then one of these little hook ones, put it right in there, and finally on this row, which does not have a clip, I simply used one of these Technic connectors, and uh, let's see, try to snap it in there, come on now, alright there we go, and so that creates at least interesting looking, if not realistic, uh, strings for your piano. So those are the two uh, fairly simple parts. And uh, now this last part is slightly more complicated. So this is going to be the front body of the piano. So to start off, we're going to take these pieces here. You're going to need this uh, 1x4 tile. Take a 2x2 two two angle plate and stick it on top and a one by one plate to fill in this little space right here and then place a uh, cheese slope in that remaining uh, tile space and that is one side and we're going to do the same thing for the other side this one by four tile angle plate single uh, tile and then this cheese slope right here and those are the two sides then you are going to take this uh, one by six plate and a one by four plate. Put the one by four on top of the one by six, and then you're going to attach these side pieces on the remaining studs. So you should have something that looks like this. So that is that. Let's see. Okay, next. Next we have some of these pieces right here. These one by two by two and a half ish uh, side bricks, the new little pieces, and you will need four of them because I believe they go underneath here. Pretty sure. Like I said, it's been a while. And actually, what you need to do is take this 1x8 uh, plate and put them on the back of it first. Like this. And 
and now connect it to the underside. You have the cheese slopes facing this way, so this is going to be the back side. Place these on the second stud right here, this one. Attach them right there so that this 1x8 tile is almost at the edge of the back. Just like that. Uh, and then, let's see, now we're going to build the keys. So first off, you're going to need two of these these 1x2 uh, grills, and you're going to place them on the inside here. One right there in the very corner, and one with a one stud gap in between right there. It's a little oddly spaced, but that's how it's going to work. So, now let's build the keys. To start off, you are going to need this piece right here, a one by, or 2x6 plate, and you're going to need to... Uh, four of these jumper plates and they're gonna go like this in this pattern like that and so that is the basis for a keyboard we're gonna need a 1 by 6 flat tile and that fills in this other space and of course I encourage you to build in other colors but this should be preferably white because this is a keyboard these are going to be the white keys underneath. And then you're going to take four of these black 1x2 grill pieces and just place them on the keyboard like so. This one first goes on here with the stud connecting. Let's see. This goes on here, connected on the center, little pin there. This one is going to go on once again on a regular stud connection. And this fourth one is going to go on a center connection. So it should look like that. They will be evenly lined up like this, but you see they're half a stud apart, which makes them, uh, you know, similar similar to the uh, to keys on a real keyboard. And you're going to attach this right here. As you see, that fills in this gap between the two grills and creates a realistic-ish looking keyboard. Now flip it over on the bottom side, we're going to take two of these 1x2 tiles and fill in these little spaces on the edges, just like so, and now it's an even surface. Then you need a 2x8 tile and press it in here to connect it all together. Your keys might get a little disjointed, but you can realign those before you put on the top. Uh, and then the final touches to this piece. First, we're going to add the legs, which consist of four pieces each. And what you're going to do is take a inverse slope, a 1x2 inverse slope brick, and three 1x1 studs, or a 1x1 brick, or round brick, or something like that. I ran out of 1x1 bricks because I built something else with them, which I may make a tutorial on later. But anyway, what you're going to end up needing is something that is a slope brick like this, and then a 1x1x1 one by one, uh, by one equivalent. And you're going to place that on this side, like so. Do the same, build a second one, place it on the other side, like that. And finally, one of my favorite features of this piano, use a yellow grill piece and a lightsaber handle to create pedals. And I think this is probably what I based it around the most because it looks, it's a very uh, innovative design, I think, for creating pedals. It looks very similar. So, yes, so this is the front of the piano. Now you're going to take this section that we built first with the music stand, and you're going to place it on top, just like this. Make sure that's lined up and press down the uh, back section if you need to. Hold that up straight for a second until you get it lined up. There we go. And lastly, on this uh, one by eight tile we have connected sideways, you're going to put the back on, just attach it like so. It should line up smoothly with the front edge we just built. There it is. And then this uh, rod right here should land perfectly on that and keep the lid held up. And there you are. Now we have built our own Lego Grand Piano. And like I said, I know this should be hinging on this side, folding up this way. 
that's one of the technical incorrect parts that I had, but uh, I hope you will be able to overlook that. And uh, if you decide to, that you will build this model and find it a very creative addition to any Lego house you might have. So, thank you for watching this video. I, I do realize it was a little bit long for most of the tutorials I've built so far, but if you did watch the whole thing, thank you very much for watching it. Please uh, subscribe to my channel for more LEGO videos in the future, tutorials and models. And if you have any suggestions or comments, please uh, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys.